Hey guys, welcome to another vlog here in Florida. It is late afternoon. I say late afternoon, it's like quarter past two in the afternoon. Um, this morning we just chilled by the pool all day. Just had a bit of a chill. Had a nap by the pool, a couple of laps of the lazy river. Dipped in the pool, dipped in the hot tub. Just what we needed. But now we are refreshed because we are going to Hollywood Studios tonight. Uh, now, because we are very excited. Um, we're going with Jason and Trish and we have reservations at Ogas Cantina. They've never been before so we're very excited for them. Um, we've only been once and we also have a reservation at Savvy's Lightsaber Workshop which I cannot wait for. I've been wanting to build a lightsaber since it was first announced. Obviously 2019 was our first year so it was mega busy and then Covid hit so we never had a chance. So this year it is my wedding gift from Becca so I'm very excited for that. And we're just going to take in the sights and sounds of Galaxy's Edge. I would like to ride Rise. I'm not holding my breath on that. I looked before Becca and the wait time was 135 minutes oh, no. <laughs> for, for Rise, so I don't think we're going to get to do that. And there's no individual lightning means. But we'll see what we're going to do. So let's get on the road. So we've made it to Hollywood Studios, we're just about to head in with our friends Jason and Trish. We're gonna have a fun night at Galaxy's Edge and see what else we can get done. So we've made it to the entrance, just went through security. Hi. And the crowds don't look too bad because a lot of people are actually heading out. And just like that guys, we are back at Hollywood Studios after almost three years. So this is actually our first time seeing Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Railway? Um, last time we were here was the great movie ride under, like had clothes and it was under construction. I doubt we'll get on it today, but it would be cool if we could. So we're heading through Toy Story Land now. We are coming back to Hollywood Studios to do the rest of it, because tonight it's just mainly like a Galaxy's Edge kind of night. And if we can get on anything else, that's a bonus. Um, but we are coming back, but we'll have a quick little walk through. So we've came inside one of the stores just to get a little bit of AC because it is so hot. And we've stumbled upon the droid factory, so we got loads of droid parts all the way around and then all the people here are building actual droids. So we've come outside the store now. There's Luke's speeder right there in the distance. I love how like authentic everything is. So we're just heading up to get to our Ogas reservation. Just taking everything in. It's been so long since we've been here. I completely forgot it, all the little details. That's where you get a Ronto wrap in there. And don't forget to look up because they've got loads of stuff like cargo ships. How perfect is all of this? So we've just come to get some shade. So I thought I'd show you like the detail on the Millennium Falcon, all of the crazy parts that they've like put together to make the ship. Is that true? <laughs> and if we scan surveillance of illegal resistance assemblies, you'd have no reason to worry. 
Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not very convincing. We'll be watching you, citizen. <laughs> well, don't let us keep you, traveler. <laughs> Let's get in there with the Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just hanging in under the shade, under the, the falcon here. Some more stormtroopers coming out. Let's go. So we're just having a walk around while we are waiting for our check-in time for Ogres down by Kylo's ship. It's pretty cool. First order, definitely have a present here. We're just inside the First Order store. You can actually buy an Imperial uniform. I think that is really cool. What's the price on that? Wow. $130 for an Imperial jacket. You can get some binders. First Empire, First Order binders. So we're just about to check into Ogres for our reservation. So we've made it inside of Ogres. Atmosphere is always amazing. So here's has a look at the menu. I think me and Becca are gonna go with the uh, T-16 Skyhopper. Last, last time we had the Fizzy Tauntaun. But I think this time we will grab the Skyhopper, get something different. They also do beer uh, as well, which is limited to Galaxy's Edge and also um, the Rancor flight, which is quite pricey. I think it's like, there we go, So the drinks have just arrived, me and Becca went for the T-16s, Trish got the Jedi mind trick, and Jason, all I can say is good luck. <laughs> I'm excited. I had that one last time. Second round of drinks that came, Jason went with the Gold Squadron Lager, I went with the White Wampa, and look at Trish's, what's yours? Bloody Rango. Ranko. Trish Rango. got the bloody Ranko with a Ranko bone on top. <laughs> that was round two for you. So that's our 45 minutes done at Ogres. Just about to head out, we'll have a little look. And give not to DJ Rex on the way out. So we're now just going to go grab some dinner before our lightsaber reservation, but it's a bit of a hold up. Stormtroopers are out. Wait, watch what you're scanning, civilian. <laughs> we are. Carry on. So we are inside Dock and Bay 7. Very cool place inside, very good theming. We've just done the mobile order, but yeah. There's a little look at the menu, maybe you could pause to have a quick look. And I'm just about to appear and I'll show you the food. So there is our dinner tonight. Becca went with the um, Endorian tip yip salad. That thing is huge. And I couldn't come to Galaxy's Edge without getting the Ronto wrap. I didn't know that they sold them inside of Dock and Bay 7, but it comes with some chips. Kind of way to dig in. So we've just come out of Dock and Bay 7. Look who's out, it's Ray and Chewy. So after seeing Chewie and Ray, we are just about to check in to build our lightsabers. So we've just checked in and we got asked to scan this QR code. 
so we can choose some of the uh, the pieces that you want so I've just been given this awesome pin after checking in I went for the traditional Jedi style which is peace and justice I think Jason might be going for a Sith lightsaber Jason went with the, uh, the Sith power and control Jason's a bad guy so he got a different <laughs> pin to me Wow Are you guys with this party over here? Yeah, yeah. How sick is this inside here? Yeah. Welcome everyone Welcome to the workshop We're just the recorders I know it's a lot this is everything. A couple of quick things before we begin. If you have a flash, please make sure those are turned off. Also, please don't touch the chambers. For safety's sake, we don't want you to lose any fingers. And lastly, be here with us. Now, some introductions. Starting off on this side, we have Jackson and Janice. Coming around, we have Maggie and Michael. On this side over here, we have Jen and we have Haley. And you may call me Kembe. We call ourselves the Gatherers. We search the galaxy for ancient relics in the forgotten places, abandoned outposts, battle ravaged planets, and what we find we bring here. So where a stormtrooper might see worthless clutter, those who know see priceless history, and preserving our past may well ensure a future. How many of you have heard the legend of Luke Skywalker? God, God. So it all the way around. Fantastic! We have two. And now we hear there is another. A new Jedi. One who started off as a scrapper like us. Do any of you know her name? Right, Ray. Yes. What Ray is leading right now is the spark of hope that we've been waiting for. An awakening in the Force. And that is why the Force has brought you here. Now, to look ahead. To build a lightsaber. Lightsaber has been wielded by some of our galaxy's greatest heroes and its darkest enemies. It is elegant and enigmatic. Building a lightsaber is a work of art. The saber is a reflection of its builder, with the force flowing between them. Today, you will feel that connection. But not if I keep talking. <laughs> Let's begin. Some have called the Kyber Crystal the heart of the lightsaber. The color of the crystal reveals the color of the blade. You may recognize some of these from the great Jedi heroes of history. The blue crystal, wielded by the great master Obi-Wan Kenobi, his apprentice Anakin Skywalker, and now, Rey. Green, Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and Luke Skywalker. Violet crystal, rare and beautiful, like the crystal wielded by Mace Windu. And red. It has been called the color of power, the crystal of Darth Maul, Asajj Ventress, Darth Vader, and now Kylo Ren. But these are stories of the past, and we are here for you. The future. It's time for you to choose your kyber crystal, the heart of your lightsaber. Builders, close your eyes. In your mind's eye, I want you to picture crystals of all the colors we've talked about. One of these shines brightest. Now open your eyes and take your kyber crystal. Now take your kyber crystals and place them on the green crystal holders there in front of you. Because now it's time to join your crystal to the lightsaber design that you've selected. It's time to build the hilt of your lightsaber. This is the foundation of the blade. It's your center of control. And it's the part that keeps your hands from being disintegrated. Which is very important. In the box in front of you, you'll find the parts you selected on the side. And we will lead you through the process of putting them all together in a minute. But first, let's talk about what's in the box. If you look at it from the left, first you'll find your chassis. Then columns one and two are your grips. Column three is emitters. Four are pommel caps. And five are two matched pairs of activation plates. Look up at the gatherer in front of you. They will lead you through this. And so, my friends, let's build. Friends, my name is Jennifer to help you guys. So go ahead and grab that chassis there at number one. This 
going to be what powers your lightsaber. You see the two little dots on the inside? Those are going to be your two points of contact for your kyber crystal. So go ahead and grab those for me. There's many different ways you can put in the kyber crystal. The way I find easy is if you have one finger back here to help hold that crystal in place in that first activation point, and then using your other hand to kind of wrap around it to help guide it into that second point. You should hear your chassis sing back to you as well as light up the color of your crystal. switch, not pulling. All together, we will activate. Come forward. Put your hand on your saber. Activate. Switch your switch right there. There, switch your switch forward. 
Saber experience. I'm on the GoPro because it's like lashing down with rain. As you can see, everybody has control stuff. I absolutely love this section. And then now we're heading into the marketplace, which is really, really, really cool. That is thunder as well. There's a hurricane coming, guys. And we're out here building lightsabers. Feels like you're in a real, like a bazaar, real market. So cool. So the rest of the vlog is probably gonna be on the GoPro because we are right in a thunderstorm. So apologies for like the bad audio, but it's a good little camera. But we're just having a little walk through the market, getting absolutely soaking wet. See everybody's ponchoed up, but this bit is really something else inside of here. And of course, if you've read the book and the canon, inside here is where the Ronto Roasters is. You can buy a Ronto Roaster from there, but this is the, the droid here that makes them. There's the Ronto meat on the spit. Spinning round and on the other side is a droid that turns the meat. Smugglers run. It's a 55 minute wait, but it's raining, so it's better than standing in the rain. Inside the Falcon. Good cockpit. I hope you are ready, my friends, but to be sure, I will be coming along with you. Glasses. Your flashes button. 
You'd better be faster when we get to Right, pilot? Push the flashing button to take off. Pilot on the left. Move your stick to fly right and left. Just about to say that. Pilot on the right. Just got off. Smugglers running out, walking through the resistance tunnels, heading back out into the rain. After walking through the rain at Smugglers, we've just stopped at Baseline Tap House to try and get out of the rain. I've just went for a blood orange cider. So we are done with Baseline Tap House. The camera's fogging up a little bit, but we've just been sitting inside because it's been raining. But now we're going to head to Minnie and Mickey's Railway because it's only a 25 minute wait because it's been down. We've also joined by this guy, Young Brady. So we're going to try and get in line and uh, hopefully and get it ridden. So far so good because it has been down the line hasn't been big but as you can see there's a ton of people running now. So it might be a little bit longer but we are here now so I love how they've kept a lot of it true to the movie ride as in the Chinese theatre because this was one of my favourite attractions at Hollywood Studios. <laughs> oh, hiya, folks. Want to take a ride on the train? Excuse me, you later. Who, me? Do you mind helping these good people into the cartoon while I fix this here locomotive? I don't know, Goofy. That sounds like a whole lot of paperwork. Thanks. Be back in a jiffy. I'll pick you all up. So we made it to the front. Just about to board onto the car. So we've just got out of um, Mickey and Mini Railway. I'm on my phone by the way because it is raining so the quality will be awful but I really enjoyed that. I didn't, when they announced that they were closing the great movie ride I was like right that's it I'm done but I did really enjoy it. It's not the great movie ride but it is still pretty good. Um, we were trying to close the park out in Galaxy's Edge but it's raining um, so we're just going to head out so we're going to head to the shop 
have a little look in there. What a productive night. We've got on Smuggler's Run. We got an Orgas. We ate in Savvy's. Uh, sorry, built a lightsaber in Savvy's. Um, and rode Mickey's Runaway Train, whatever it's called. And uh, managed to avoid getting totally soaked. So I think that's going to do it for us tonight at Hollywood Studios. We are going to be back another time, but it is raining, so it's probably good to head out before all the Ubers start getting busy. So we have made it back to Cabana Bay. That was the worst Uber ride ever. There was four of us in the car. It was humid because it's been raining, so we were wet. And to top it off, the guy didn't have any fans on in the car, no AC or nothing. But we had a very successful afternoon, evening. Got Ogas done, which was nice. The drinks were really awesome. We got the lightsaber built, which is the best experience I have ever had. I even shed a tear when all the music and stuff came on. And then we had lunch um, at our dinner at Dock and Bay 7. And as a bonus, got to ride Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Mine Train or whatever it's called. But I am shattered, so I'm going to go have an early night to wake up refreshed for a day in the parks tomorrow. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a thumbs up and a comment down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.